A while back, I did a pitiful reaction for the Batman trailer. Uh, I thought it was kind of underwhelming. I really didn't have much to say. But now after seeing this, holy crap, I am all in. Twilight's Robert Pattinson, that's not fair. He's done a lot of movies since that are really good. Uh, but he plays the Cape Crusader here. Now, some people say stunt casting, some people say horrible choice. From where I'm sitting, he's got a Tom Holland thing going on. And what I mean by that is, He's kind of the best of both worlds. Yeah, I think Michael Keaton's a fantastic Bruce Wayne. He's got those pursed lips. Looks great in the costume. Uh, Physicality-wise, Ben Affleck was, was pretty awesome, just, just from a pure brute strength. Here, though, it looks like Pattinson's really got both those strengths. He looks great as Bruce Wayne. He looks terrific as Batman. He's definitely got the physicality. We'll see how it plays out, but right now, I'm, I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing. He's even got the voice. They, they nailed this. They nailed this, guys. Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman, Selena Kyle. She appears to have a much larger role than I initially thought. And she's got some big stilettos to fill. Michelle Pfeiffer, Anne Hathaway. These, these are tough roles to follow. But she's looking damn fine here. We get a good tease of the Riddler to start the trailer. Leaves a little question mark in his drink. Pretty, pretty perfect, too. Arguably too perfect. I'm questioning how he was able to do that. But he is the Riddler, so questions are his thing. So touche, I guess. Colin Farrell, who I've always thought is criminally underrated, he's the Penguin, looks good, has a couple lines in the trailer, nice way to end it with that Batmobile, which I have to say out of all the things in this movie, the Batmobile is probably the lamest out of all the Batmobiles we've had over the year. Maybe, I mean, I mean it's, it's kind of like that Adam West thing back in the day, it's giving me vibes of that. It'll probably be awesome as they unveil more of it, but as of right now, eh, I, I don't really care for it. What I do care about and I'm really digging on is the vibe here. Matt Reeves, the director, he's, he's done some great work in the past. Cloverfield, the last two Dawn of the Planet of the Apes movies, Dawn and War, I guess. Not, I don't believe he did Rise. Um, he hasn't done a lot of stuff, he, he takes his time, he gets it right. And here he's not afraid to play with the color palette. It's a very dark and obviously moody film, but there's tons of popped colors here. We have oranges at some scenes, we got some greens going on, some blues. He's not afraid to mix it up. The other thing I was a little concerned about from the previous trailer was they didn't show a ton of action. They didn't show a ton of different scenes where action could take place. But that's no longer a concern. Holy crap, there's a lot going on. It looks pretty brutal. There's gonna be a good variety of action going on. Batman's out for vengeance, as he states again here. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for this movie. Previously, I was at like a, a two out of 10 in the excitement scale. Now I'm 10, I'm up there, I'm ready for this. Still eating the shot up where Batman's like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Now it cuts to a shot of Selina Kyle like, damn, he's already dead. The Batman movies have always had stellar music too, along with bat nipples and a bat credit card. Here it's also standing out for me. Now I don't have a, a theme popping in my head right now from the trailer, but it definitely sounds awesome. I think this is an absolute win for DC. This movie looks terrific, very excited. Now I wanna hear from you though. Leave a comment below, let me know your thoughts on the trailer. Like the video if you got something out of it. Subscribe if you want more out of it, and hopefully I'll see you next time. If you've been here for a while and want to go above and beyond, you can join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or right here on YouTube via that join button. Some people have done it. It's very nice, very helpful. And if you're one of those people that's currently doing it, thank you very much.